I think it. Um, I want to. I'm videotaping part two of why I'm undateable. Now, why I'm dateable? I'm very happy. I'm undateable. There's no stress. There's no headaches. I can work. I. I mean, I finished college, so I can work. My kids are grown, so I can work with. I can work. I can go. I can just work. Um, I can go into adult entertainment industry. I enjoy. Um, I enjoy it. Um. You know, the workshop classes, the sex workshop classes should be happening. The sexual research will be happening by the, before the, permanently, by this summer. The sexual research will be here by this summer. Early, early this summer, late around that time. Any day, any time. So that's why I'm happy. I'm undateable. I'm happy. I already expressed in part one why we're both happy, but I'm saying why I'm happy on day April. And I'm going to tell you why I'm happy. No stress, no headaches. My former friends, my so-called friends can't shut up. They can't stop intervening. So I became undateable and I'm happy. So it wouldn't be problems with other people. I um, already forfeit Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Long Island. I I like Manhattan. I like the Bronx, upstate New York. And um, 52 states because I don't, I don't go on dates no more, so it's no use. As I just shop and eat and go and then work in the adult entertainment industry and sex workshops, anything in the industry. So that's pretty much, I prefer that. And I prefer to be undateable. I'm happy. Everybody's different. Some people take it differently. I'm saying for me, Lady Treacherous, I'm happy that I'm undateable. I don't have to deal with the drama. Number one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna express why I'm undateable. I have it here. Because of my so-called friends, Queens, New York, and Long Island thinking. So-called friends... Queens, New York people, and Long Island City, Queens people that cannot shut up neither way. And my mom's past and past behavior as a child and everything else. My mom's past behavior and Queens people and my former so-called friends and these women, my enemies that can't shut up. I have to become undateable. And I heard they're undateable themselves and slip. I'm proud that I'm undateable because I don't have to deal with the drama and stress. I'm happy. I always find something to do. That's not going to get to me. That's not going to change me into some white woman. You know, that's not going to, that's not going to get to me. I'm from the ghetto. I'm used to be undateable. I'm used to being single. I'm used to it. The adult entertainment industry will be, uh, I would love to do that because at least I'll have some type of money in my pocket. At least I'll have some type of happiness. You know, that's all I have to say, but I'm happy. I'm undateable. I just want to go to work. You know, if I can't work a regular job, the adult entertainment job will be okay because they can't shut up. I can't keep a job because of them. I can't keep a regular apartment. I prefer it. A X rated job, and now I'm thinking, I'm sorry, an X rated adult job, any X rated adult entertainment job because I can't keep a regular job because they can't shut up. They can't keep calling my boss, and I have to stay in the Bronx for apartments and everything else. I'm okay with that. I'm over it. I'm happy that I'm undateable, so I don't have to put nobody through hell. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. I don't want them to know about my. Okay, goodbye.